No, okay. Just start a new game. So yeah, this is uh, this is the beta. Bruno, yeah. are you excited about the beta? Yeah, finally. I'm really, really excited. Uh, I don't know if you guys see the alpha, but uh, we were focusing on the winter region, and now we just added another super cool region that is a cave one. Uh, you guys are going to notice some uh, different things uh, in the cave regions. And uh, today we're going to focus in one of the cave levels, right? Yep, the, the roots of Yggdrasil. Well, uh, for, uh, for you guys that are fans of Norse mythology, you guys know that Yggdrasil is the mythic tree, tree of life in Norse mythology. So it's the tree that hangs all the planes. And uh, in the roots of Yggdrasil, we know that something very creepy and very powerful lives down there. So we're going to see a few minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so there's uh, the dragon is called Nidhogg. And he... Uh, spoiler! He gnaws, <laughs> gnaws on the roots of Yggdrasil. <laughs> so this is the, the Ganungagath. This is like our, our hub, the central place for purgatory. And this is kind of like your, 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 the central point of the game. You're going to be able to see the maps for, for each region. Uh, in the beta we have, as Bruno said, the cave region on the lower left side and the winter region on the upper right side. Uh, the, the winter region was in the alpha. Uh, you guys may or may not have seen some of that. And uh, the cave region is inspired by Nidavellir, which is uh, home of uh, many mythical beings. And we can see the cave Jotun right here. Her name is Fay. So the goal of Jotun is to go through purgatory, to go through these different exploration levels um, to find runes. And then once you have the runes, you unlock the boss fight. And you can uh, fight against the boss, and that's how you prove yourself to the gods. Uh, so the level we'll be looking at today is the roots of Yggdrasil. Yeah, and I think that it's very good to you guys to understand how our maps works. So uh, once you guys are on the hub, uh, you're going to see the map, as we saw like a couple of seconds ago, with some points. Uh, it's super inter uh, important that you guys pay attention to these points, so this will help you guys to navigate and uh, find our secrets. This is our new loading screen, looking very snazzy. Much better than the custom render clouds from Photoshop that we had before. Uh, we'll be looking to add probably some voiceovers to the game as well. Uh, we'll keep you posted on that. But uh, it should be pretty fun um, once, uh, once we get going. So this level is called the Roots of Yggdrasil. Uh, the main uh, mechanic in the level is that you can slide down these roots. Uh, we want to bring in really the feeling of being underground, the feeling of going deep into uh, some cave. So right now I'm kind of, my goal is to go and find the room and hopefully find uh, some other stuff as well along the way. Um, so you can go down the roots, you can't go back up. Um, and yeah, I mean, let's, uh, let's see what we find. Yeah, this level has a sort of a puzzle elemental, element on it. There are the elevators that we're gonna show you to you guys fairly soon. Yeah, I'm gonna try not to get squashed first. Uh, all right. Yeah, also, up. you are on a very instable, instable part of the Norse Purgatory, so expect a lot of rocks coming out of the ceiling to kill you. Yeah. yeah so these uh, elevators are the only way you can get back up in the level. So if you get lost, um, they'll shoot you back to the top, uh, but you don't always know exactly where they lead you, though. Yeah. It's quite, uh, it can get pretty maze-like, so we actually added in, uh, from the alpha, from some of the feedback you guys gave us, was we added in the, uh, the maps in, of the levels in the start menus to kind of help you figure out where you are. They don't exactly tell you where you are, so you still, it's kind of like having a map in real life. You kind of yeah. have to figure out where you are and then how, how to navigate to where you want to go. So at the bottom, you have uh, the rune down there, so I want to make it all the way down. But as you can see, there are little spots. The little spots on the map are the, the geysers that bring you back up. And the big peon is the god shrine that we'll definitely want to try and, and get to. And you guys can also use those checkpoints to help you to navigate through the, through the map. So once you find uh, like the god shrine, for example, you can figure out where you are on the map. And uh, this will help you to find a rune and to guide you to the other secrets. So let's do that. Let's try and make it to either down or to the God Shrine without getting, without losing too much health. Yeah, and uh, I'm seeing that you guys are noticing our art style. 
and it's very cool because everything in Johto is hand drawn. So every tiny detail that you see uh, on this on the screen was actually drawn by hand using a special tablet and a special pen. But uh, we like to think that we use the same techniques as the old cartoonists cartoonists from like Disney used to do, but of course with upgraded technologies. But uh, the games like. It's made with heart, you know, it's made by hand, like every tiny detail, I think is, you guys are gonna love it. Uh, yeah, and this here is uh, is the God Shrine, and as you can tell, we can't make it over the air yet, but uh, we'll try and figure out a way to, uh, to get there. A little bit of skateboarding. <laughs> Yeah, you can control it a little bit on the on the the routes. You can kind of navigate left and right, uh, slow it down or speed up a little bit as well, um, which gives you some control over it. But it's not meant to be uh, pure, uh, you know, like 360 snowboarding type of thing. <laughs> you cannot do a kickflip, you know. Nah. Works. <laughs> Unfortunately, not. <laughs> But I did. If you saw the uh, announcement for Tony Hawk Five, yeah, man. I maybe uh, maybe we could be doing some better animations than them. Ooh, <laughs> <Shots> <laughs> <fire>. <laughs> 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 we just need to add you know, Rage Against the Machine for just yeah. a little bit. So right now uh, I'm pretty. I'm not sure exactly where I'm supposed to be going. I just took a geyser up. Let's see where this takes me. If it's a dead end or if it actually. Um, leads to somewhere, and I think I've been here before. So let's go back down, try to find our way to the God Shrine. Also, I don't know if all of you guys know, but uh, in Jotun you can, you pretty much can use only your X to fight the giant, the giants and the Jotuns. Uh, but some gods can give you their blessing, blessings, and uh, they are really, really, really powerful, and they're gonna going to help you a lot during the boss fights. So make sure that you get all the powers when you play the game. It's super, super important. Yeah. Yeah, they're 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 basically the main uh, character progression option you have as a player. They're they're your, your main way of leveling up. Um, there's also some other things that. Uh, Hopefully we'll find throughout the levels. If you've played the alpha, you kind of know what I'm talking about already. But uh, oh, and this here is a, a similar uh, stack of gold or whatever you want, a gold vein as to the ones we saw earlier in the levels. So I'm gonna assume that this is gonna take us somewhere good, Ooh. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is Heimdall, Heimdaller, he's the uh, the god that stands on Bifrost, the burning rainbow bridge that uh, protects the gods from the Jotuns who always try to invade. And he's, uh, he's a really epic god because he has this huge shield and a huge horn called the Gjallar Horn, and this is the horn that's, that, that, that rings at Ragnarok to announce yeah. the beginning of Ragnarok. So when you find his power, as you'll find out in a second, you'll see what it does. Yeah, so if you guys watch the Thor movies, it's it, Idris Elba character. It was what? Idris Elba, the actor. Mm. <laughs> right. So yeah, Heimdall's shield bad. protects you from damage. So once you activate it, you get uh, a certain amount of time with it, and uh, you don't take damage during that time. So it's, it makes you invulnerable. Uh, it's a pretty powerful effect. Very useful in this level if you get uh, swarmed by uh, falling rocks, by the stalactites, um, but also later on in the boss fight as well. So if I go back up here, it'll take me right back up, which is not where I want to go. So if you look at the map, we're still fairly high. We're maybe in the f at the end of the first third of the level. So let's try, uh, let's try going down deeper, a little bit deeper, to see what we find. Here we go. So this is Mimir, and uh, when you step on a Mimir's well, uh, it will replenish your health and replenish your god powers. It also gives you a checkpoint, so even though here, uh, as you can see, I, I was at full health and at full, uh, full shield, um, it didn't have an effect. 
but it does uh, give you a checkpoint, so if you die, you're going to start back here. And it gives you a super, super creepy stare, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He can follow you with his eyes. So, so yeah. blink as well. <laughs> He's kind of a creepy dude, just chilling out in the, in the jacuzzi. <laughs> Mimir's jacuzzi is what someone on the Geek and Sundry stream <laughs> said, which I think is pretty good. Alright, before we go any further, uh, throughout in every level there is a, uh, a golden apple, and this is based on uh, the mythology of, uh, of Ithun. She is the one of the gods who uh, almost who gives the, the gods their eternal life. So when the gods are feeling kind of a bit tired, a bit down, they need a little bit of a pick-me-up, they go see their favorite drug dealer, Ithun, who gives <laughs> them uh, a golden apple that allows them to be immortal. So in every uh, Jodan exploration level, there is uh, one of Ithun's apples hidden somewhere. And usually it's uh, a bit harder to find than the god power, because it's uh, when you find it, it gives you a permanent health upgrade. Yeah. Um, and it's about uh, it's about 10% of your life every time, so it's, it's pretty strong. So you definitely want to try and... Uh, find out uh, where where those are. Oops. Yeah, I'm gonna get, you definitely want to get them for the boss fights. Yeah, they, they help a lot. So let's try and see if I can figure out how to get to the uh, to the to Ethan's apple. Uh, so yeah, uh, yay close. Uh, unfortunately, since our Kickstarter is over, the only way that you can buy Jotun now is waiting for the release date. But uh, you have an alternative. If you sign up to our mailing list on uh, jotungame.com, uh, you will be able to participate on our beta raffle. So you may get a chance to win a beta code and play our game right away. So go there, impress the gods, and good luck. Yeah, so jotungame.com, you can sign up to the mailing list. Um, I think I took a wrong turn. <laughs> no, I don't know how to play my own game. It's very sad. Um, actually, we have a, a new a team member if you follow us on Facebook uh, who's joined who joined us a while ago called Ian who does uh, the level design now and he's he's making these these levels out, which was uh, really important after the alpha. A lot of the feedback we got from uh, uh, the Nine Rivers and uh, Jormungandr's Lake, uh, the fact that it was very open, that there wasn't that much to do, that it felt too too empty. And that was definitely on purpose. That's a, a feeling we want to create in those levels. We want to make it feel like, like you're you're in this very solitary space, the cold, the coldness of Niflheim. And I'm about to get killed. I'm gonna activate Heimdall to make sure I make it through alive. Um, so yeah, I mean these these new levels I think reflect a lot of that feedback um, that you guys gave us. That trying to make the levels a lot more interactive, a lot more. Uh, less confusing as well. Um, try to make sure that the the objectives are clear and that it's clear um, where you have to go. This is like one of the reasons we put in the maps. Um, also, it, it really affects the level design as well, making sure that there aren't too many open spaces and uh, yeah, kind of stuff. And also, you guys are going to experience a very, very, very diverse gameplay. So each region will be pretty unique, in, in sort of way. Uh, I think you guys are going to enjoy it. So it, it kind of makes sense of the winter region being like this cold, big wasteland. But uh, we did tweak the, the, the winter region too. You guys are going to check this out in a few weeks. And uh, Yeah, so here we found Ethan's apple. Um, let me just get her. You'll see my life is going to increase a little bit. Um, and yeah, this is going to help during the boss fights. It doesn't seem like a lot. But uh, obviously, they, they add up quite a bit uh, once you have uh, once if you find all of them. Eventually, and in, in when we release New Game Plus, probably post release as well, um, I'm gonna die. I don't want to get killed by the rocks. All right, let's make it back down to Mimir. Let's keep going down. Alright, what was I saying? I was saying something. No. <laughs> <laughs> About the life upgrades. Yeah, the life yeah. upgrades. Yeah, they'll really add up. And when you play New Game Plus, uh, which will come after release, uh, after the initial release as an update. Um, oh, shoot. You're going to keep your progress, right? Yeah. Uh, my, uh, my god. 
fail to impress the gods. The so gods are not right. impressed. Our friends are not impressed, man. Oh, sorry. Shame on you. <laughs> <I> feel shame. <laughs> so as you can see, I spawned back at uh, at Mimir, and uh, my god powers are replenished. And you can see uh, on the the life bar, the little motif that extends on the right side is the uh, the extra health I've gotten. So yeah, right now. The spiral in the center there indicates uh, the secrets that I found, and, and uh, the one in the middle is uh, Mimir. So you can tell that uh, I need about one more, one more big slide to make it down to the room. So let's do it. Also, every level has those uh, tiny little Easter eggs. In this level, is are actually eggs <laughs> that you can see uh, that like what are these eggs for yeah this is where are they from some surprises why why are there broken eggs all over the place I think you're about to find out yeah <laughs> So here you can see the music changes. Um, Max Lowell is, is an amazing composer. We're super happy uh, to work with him. Uh, he's making all of the the soundtrack from scratch, and you can see that we're adapting it to uh, different parts of the game. Um, here, right before there, you can see Heimdall's shield kicking in, protecting me uh, from the falling rocks. Activate it again to make sure that I don't die. But yeah, I mean it, every every part of the of the levels are, are composed uh, specifically for the levels and we're really looking forward to hearing the entire soundtrack uh, as a full uh, fully mastered piece and who's in there <laughs> for you guys that are fans of Norse mythology this is Nidhogg the big dragon so he lives at, in the pit of Helgelmir, I believe it's pronounced, um, and he gnaws away at Yggdrasil's roots, and that's what causes the earthquakes and the, the falling rocks and everything. So the, we're trying to, to integrate the myths directly into the level design and make sure that you're playing through the myths and not just reading about them, but it's really integrating those into the gameplay, which is really important for us. Yeah, and there are not many dragons in Norse mythology, so this is pretty unique. This is pretty cool. And here we have it the first Fey rune. So, before each uh, uh, Norse uh, uh, Jotun fight, you need to find two runes that unlocks the battle with uh, the specific Jotun. Yeah, two runes and uh, this is the first one. We'll be going through the uh, the other level of the beta uh, next Wednesday, um, so make sure to, to stop by. And yeah, I mean, uh, the level I've gotten pretty much everything there is to get in this level. This is definitely one of the shorter levels, um, but that's just for pacing reasons. Uh, and yeah, I mean, we've pretty much gone through it. We got the God Power. We got Ethan's Apple. Uh, Heimdall is 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 uh, is with us now. And uh, yeah, let's open it up to you guys. If you have any questions, uh, make sure this is a great time. We can do maybe a little bit of a Q&A. What did you think about the level? Um, what other places would you, would you or do you think are awesome in the mythology and stuff like that? Uh, or anything, anything you want to ask, uh, what kind of games we're playing right now? Or how about I ask you this, uh, what kind of games are you guys playing right now? Like what, uh, what games are on your radar? And what games are you excited for? So uh, yeah, Guy Gentle Taku. Uh, the game uh, is, we try to be as much as solid to the actual Norse mythology as we could. So uh, we are, of course, using some uh, creative uh, liberties. For example, there's no Norse purgatory in Norse mythology. But uh, yeah, we're trying to be like super, super focused uh, on the actual mythology. And uh, of course, having this great artwork also helps us to tell, tell you guys a good story and uh, that's it I think I'm heading back onto the slide I, that was weird so There's thanks for backing us we own 21 <laughs> I'm out of god powers, so I'm probably gonna be dead. 
for yeah, us. Yeah, so another very important thing is that the god powers are super, super strategic. Uh, they not only help you during the boss fights, but they are essential for the levels. Uh, next Wednesday, you're gonna see another god power that I'm not going to spoil for you guys, and hopefully we will not, will not spoil you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tend to, to spoil everything, Yeah. <laughs> and it is super, super, super important to, to pass through that level. So it, it adds a lot of uh, depth to the gameplay and, and I think you guys are going to enjoy this very, very, very much. Yeah, it's kind of our way to, uh, to do like items in Zelda or something like that without going overboard um, because we have, you know, we don't want it to be too, we don't want to, we're not making like a hack and slash, we're not making it about stats and items and, and all that stuff, though we love games that do that, but for Joden we really just want to focus on you know, the, the core Jotun experience is about impressing the gods and how and making you live Norse mythology mm -hmm. and finding out like what's special about that and what's cool as a gameplay experience um, for that, so we're trying to keep things simple that way as well. So yeah, remember to uh, follow us on Facebook, so it's Jotun Game on Facebook, remember to follow us on, on Twitter, uh, at Jotun Game too. Uh, sign up to our sign into our mailing list. Uh, it would be great to have you guys there, and uh, so you guys will also have a chance to play this very beta too. Uh, we are going to raffle some codes uh, for the next two weeks, so you guys have a uh, plenty of chances to to play this game too. So sign up. Yeah, and I mean. Uh, it's not just about playing the beta too, it's about giving us feedback. Uh, the, the feedback we got from Alpha was super important for us. Uh, it was really, really valuable and, and helped us. Like We're not at a, in a position where we can like redo half the game and we have a very clear idea of where we want to go. But uh, we do definitely, we, we're, we're, it helps us kind of like turn the, 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 the steering wheel a little bit to make sure that we're heading in the right direction and, 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 and you're... Uh, you're the, the, the best way for us to make sure that we're, we're doing that properly. Yeah. And we do hear your feedback, which is very good. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Alright, awesome. So, uh, I don't think there are any more questions, so uh, we'll be signing off at the Mimir's Jacuzzi. Uh, we'll go for a little little soak in the tub, maybe in an expansion pack we'll be able to, to go <laughs> swim around in that water or something. And thanks again guys for being here, the guys are impressed with you. Yeah, thank you so much, and uh, yeah, we'll be doing this again on, on Wednesday, we'll put this stream up on, on YouTube for people who weren't able to, uh, to make it, but uh, thanks so much for those who did, uh, who showed up. And uh, if you have any other questions, let us know, send us an email, focus on Facebook, on Twitter, uh, through the mailing list, everything is great, so thank you so much. And tell your friends about Jotun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's impress them too. <laughs> Thanks. Alright, see you guys later. See ya. Bye.